let's talk about converting fractions. Now, when we're converting fractions, we're taking them from the form that we normally don't see and put it into a mixed number. Or we're taking a mixed number and turning it into the form we normally don't see, which is shown here. It's sometimes referred to as an improper fraction or a fraction that is greater than one because our numerator at the top is more than our denominator is at the bottom. So in order to take this fraction, which is greater than one, and turn it into a mixed number, we're gonna do a little dividing. And we're gonna use the number down here at the bottom. We wanna know how many threes can fit into a 10. In other words, we're saying 10 divided by three. Now, if we use our multiplying skills, we know that three times three is nine. We're gonna subtract and we're left with one. Now, for our whole number, we're gonna use the number at the top. We're gonna to use the three. For the fraction, we're gonna take what's left over and we're gonna use that as the numerator over the denominator that we already have. So 10 thirds would convert to three and one third. Let's try another one like this. Let's say we have 19 fourths. So again, we're gonna divide using the denominator. How many fours can we get into 19? Well, if we use our multiplying skills, we know that four times four is 16. We're gonna subtract 19 minus 16 is three. So remember, the number that we used up here is our whole number in our mixed number. What we're left with when we subtract is the numerator and the denominator stays the same. So we end up with four and three fourths. Now we can take a mixed number and turn it into this fraction that's greater than one or this improper fraction. So let's try one of those. Let's say that we have one and five ninths. Now this is the way that we're supposed to see our fractions and mixed numbers. What we're gonna turn it into would be something like this, which is not what we're supposed to see. So the way I help remember how to turn one of these improper fractions or one of these mixed numbers into an improper fraction is that I want to make it mad, M-A-D. Now that stands for multiply, add, and then the D stands for the denominator that would be at the bottom of the fraction. So here's how this works. We're gonna start at the denominator because we're gonna make a full circle by the time we're done. The first thing we're gonna do is multiply. Nine times one. Well, nine times one is just nine. Now we're gonna go to the second step, which is to add. We're gonna add to what we have, five. So we already said that nine times one was nine, plus five makes 14. That 14 is the numerator of our new fraction. The D in mad is the denominator. So we're gonna take the denominator and write it just as we had before. So one and five ninths, written as a fraction greater than one or an improper fraction would be 14 ninths. Let's take a look at another problem like that. Let's say that we have four and nine tenths. So remember, it's gonna make me mad because I have to turn it into the way that the fraction is not supposed to look. So I'm gonna multiply and then I'm gonna add. 10 times four is 40 plus nine makes 49. That's my numerator. The denominator stays the same, so I end up with 49 tenths. Now, I'm gonna give you some problems to work out and try on your own. 
So for the first one, let's take that fraction larger than one and turn it into a mixed number. So let's try 29 eighths. So I want you to take 29 eighths and turn it into a mixed number. Pause the video so that you can work it out on your own. And then when you're done, press play again. All right, so let's see what you did. We're going to see how many eights will fit into 29. So I'm going to divide eight into 29. Now, when I divide eight by 29, I'm going to get 3. 3 times 8 is 24. And when I subtract, I get 5. Remember that the whole number is what you used up here at the top. What you were left with is the numerator. And the denominator stays the same. So 29 eighths is the same as 3 and 5 eighths. Now let's practice one of the mixed numbers turned into the improper fraction, or the fraction that's greater than one. So try one and three tenths. Turn it into the fraction greater than one, where the numerator is larger than the denominator. Pause the video here and work it out. Okay, let's see how you did. Remember, we're gonna make it mad. We're gonna multiply, add, and then put our denominator. One times 10 is 10, plus three is 13. Our denominator is 10, so I end up with 13 tenths. I hope that this video was helpful in teaching you how to convert fractions from mixed numbers to fractions greater than one and vice versa.